there's a lot of things that you have to juggle with and with what that was like a six week time actually sooner than that almost like a three quick. week yeah and we were um, in enzyme replacement within three weeks. three weeks and then we met um our, our stem cell team or we interviewed i guess the best thing is to you know call us an interview stem cell transplant and um that's when we met uh, dr duncan and had a conference with her uh, i think within about 40 minutes after that we felt extremely comfortable that hey you know it was almost like a brother sister relationship just her attitude and yeah. you know the way she uh you know was confident that hey you're in good hands uh, I think we were feel, all set, yeah. and we the had no I question. The second I met her, I was like, this is where we need to be. Yeah. It, and she was just, there's something about her. I always say it to her, but she's like a magician. Like, and there was something about her that was like, oh, no, like she's the one for Christopher, you know? And, you know, maybe she's not the one for every MPS kid, but she was the one for Christopher, and it, I think, was so clear right from the second we met her. And also for me it was, well, hurlers is 100% fatal, stem cell transplant, whatever the mortality rate of that is. In my mind, I was like, well, if you average those together, it's a 60% survival rate, which is better than 100% mortality rate. Like in my mind, it wasn't even a question. So yeah, like we, I we didn't even- We never debated it. We, we yeah. were on the same page. Which is interesting because it was actually, there have been families who have declined that as a treatment. And um, when we heard that at Boston Children's, one of our, um, one of the doctors that we work with was like, well, not all families do this. And I was just like, oh, I don't like, I don't understand that. And that, you know, they probably also don't understand the other end of it from where we are. Um, and then when I see it on the NPS Society, on, like on Facebook, when, um, in the group that we're in, people will ask often like, does anybody regret getting a stem cell transplant? Does anybody wish they had done just ERT? Or I always think like, gosh, did we not ask enough questions? And it just like worked out really well for us. But I, I mean, to me, that's how I balanced it out. I'm not really good at math, but in my head, I was like, well, if Hurlers is gonna kill them, then I feel like even if, if stem cell transplant in the end does, that we took a shot, but if we just did, it just didn't in my head make any sense to do it any other way because it raised his chances of survival. I was higher. It was yeah. the only way that I could think of it because if you've got 100% and no matter what the mortality rate is, whatever that number in between is, is now his survival rate, which he doesn't have at all without that. Yeah. So, and ERT is wonderful, but it wasn't going to save his life. And I think that for us was... It Did wasn't. They, it's, they didn't have enough information about the success rate. Of the, the other families. I, I, you mean the other families? Yeah. I, I think. To to I think the questions come um, when you you're going when you're seeing the other kids that are not surviving it, and I think it just makes this. It's They're question. Not surviving transplant. Yeah, because then I think you're thinking you did that to your kid. That's yeah. the only way I can kind of make sense of it in my or it head. Or could be because, religious beliefs. As yeah, well. some right. of it I think God is religious. Yeah. And there was one family who I think I don't know if this should go on there, but uh, there was one family that I think um, they already had a child that didn't survive stem cell transplant, and but did for a long time after, and it was like the some of the side effects of it were such torture that I think in their head they thought this is their path and let this be their path as least painful and you know I, I on a lot of levels I, I do understand Christopher has graft versus host disease on his skin he's um it's basically eczema and it tortures him on his skin kids have graft versus host in their eyes and their bellies and their I mean it tortures him on his skin and that is awful for us as parents to see if he couldn't eat food and needed you know a bag to digest or to go to the bathroom and that was his I don't know maybe that would have been different and again like sometimes I think like god did we have ask enough questions um but to me it was survival versus not survival and I think there, for other people that big question of quality of life comes in which to me is just unanswerable so it yeah. wasn't worth asking yeah I mean I, so. I think we just we, we we made our decision we want to uh, we wanted his life to, you know, yeah, it's rolling the dice. And with a lot of families that are dealing with MPS, if they don't treat, you know, they know the consequences. And, you know, and again, like Emily was saying, uh, some kids don't make it through transplant. Others make it through but have a very a whole host of problems thereafter. 
their stem cell transplant fails a year or two years yeah. into it and they you know Gotta now they're three again. years old and the option of doing it again or not do it again and just go to ERT I mean you're really rolling the dice you know in, in our story it, it's you know successful I mean and in terms if, of having the disease we're you know I, I always use the term you know he's like a one percenter yeah he's that one percent of that population that is doing extremely well uh, what's next though that's always in the back of our mind yeah what's next you know we always ask you know how far along in a stem cell transplant can it fail or will it fail uh you know and they're saying well you know if you get past three years four right. years the big year is the big day a hundred days is the big day yeah. then it's like a year then it's five years but, but you there's know, not enough Duncan's research always, to say if you get past two years past transplant gonna... you're good to go yeah 